I never really considered what I was doing stand-up comedy. I always just thought of myself as more of a humorist as opposed to here are my comedy jokes. I'm going to tell these comedy jokes. Here's the setup. Here's the story. Here's the punchline. Are you approaching it from a serious level or are you approaching it from a humorous level? If you had told me 20 years ago that my mission would be to make poetry a popular thing in the South Bay, I would have laughed and chuckled and then wondered like, okay, well how would I do that? <laughs> you know? But it's, it's much easier with 20 years of experience under your belt. My mouth got me into and out of a lot of trouble. Uh, and now it just sort of gets me into and it gets me on and off a lot of stages. You know, It hasn't stopped. Like, and I don't think it will. It was more like, I just want to be funny for the next hour. I'd love to see a future where there were more performers, stand-up poets, who got up to be serious and to be funny. I saw the U.S. from a greyhound for at least 400,000 miles. So suddenly there's this open mic in San Jose, and so I go inside and I listen and I'm like, I'm actually laughing at some of the jokes I'm hearing, and I just started getting involved. And I realized like, okay, I can use a lot of what's happening with the comedy scene here as a model for the, the poetry scene, because there's, no, there's not that much different between comedy and poetry. Yeah, two and a half years, I guess. Got a lot done so far. Um, there's a lot more to go, though. There's a lot of work ahead.